Fishing Cat Research and Conservation Project was initiated in 2003 to identify key landscapes and actions to conserve the species. This short film describes current efforts that focus on a landscape that some might have considered an unlikely stronghold for fishing cats and the resources they need to survive and to thrive in the wild. With the help of local residents, national park staff, and a specialized team of capture experts and veterinarians, the project is documenting not only the occurrence of fishing cats on this remarkable landscape, but new and important details of fishing cat ecology and behavior that are helping to guide management efforts here and throughout the species range. Once considered common throughout much of their range, fishing cat numbers appear to have collapsed in recent years. In January of this year, researchers gathered for an International Small Felid Information Summit to assess the distribution and status of Asia's smaller felids. Surprisingly, and in spite of numerous ongoing field surveys throughout Southeast Asia, only a handful of recent fishing cat occurrence records could be substantiated for this region. Even targeted surveys for fishing cats, carried out by the Fishing Cat Research and Conservation Project, failed to detect the species in remote areas where surveys were initially carried out. Finally, in February 2007, camera traps captured a male fishing cat on the west side of Talainoi Lake in Patalung Province. When the project's survey focus then shifted to Khao Samurayat National Park near the end of 2008, researchers documented fishing cats again but this time at apparently higher densities and with clear signs of breeding. The 2006 Talainoi record and the recent Khao Samurayad records represent the most recent photographic records of fishing cats in the region. Khao Samurayad, or a mountain with 300 peaks, is a fascinating landscape with complex terrestrial, freshwater, and marine components. Centered around a 650 meter high karst limestone spine, and including 30 kilometers of diverse coastline, the area is a patchwork of contrasting habitats and human-modified areas. The landscape includes Thailand's oldest coastal protected area, established in 1966, as well as the country's newest Ramsar site, established just this past year. The Ramsar site encompasses the country's largest freshwater marsh and a staggering diversity of life. While much of the landscape has been transformed through intensive human activities, there remain important pockets of both dryland and mangrove forest and shrubland that appear to serve as anchors of habitat for fishing cats and their prey. The area's productive soils, bountiful intertidal zone, and lucrative shrimp farming industry have resulted in both a fundamentally transformed landscape and a wide diversity of colorful and thriving human communities. It is immediately clear to anyone visiting the area that any conservation future will necessarily involve active stewardship on the part of local residents, visitors, and protected area managers. Due in part to this diverse landscape, Kassam Rayat also supports a diverse fauna. One of the most animated residents is the spectacled langur. Difficult to observe throughout most of its range, this long-tailed primate is frequently encountered in both the mangrove and upland forests around Kassam Rayat. Brackish mangroves, freshwater marshes, inundated agricultural fields, and a complex system of waterways all provide habitat for abundant fish and water bird populations. In fact, over 300 species of birds use Khao Samrayat for at least part of the year, making it a favorite site for bird watchers. Abundant and diverse populations of fish, birds, rodents, and crustaceans, all elements of the fishing cat's diet, may help explain why fishing cats appear to be doing well here. Hassanan Cutter, the lead investigator for the Fishing Cat Research and Conservation Project, describes how a report from a ranger at the park caught the attention of the project and led to an expansion of survey and research efforts in this area. We visited Khao Samurai Yacht in December of 2008 on our way to another survey site, which is further to the south. While well, speaking with rangers at the park headquarters, I learned of and later confirmed a report of a pair of captive cats that had been collected from the area as kittens when a rice harvester scared the mother away. We then had the opportunity to go directly to the spot where fish and cats were captured. And using basic science surveys, we found promising signs of fish and cats in this area. This led to a systematic camera trapping effort that has resulted in extremely high capture rates of fishing cats. 
our video-ready cameras have given us a window into demographic and behavioral details that we surely would not otherwise have had access to. In January of 2009, I decided that the site met and actually exceeded our project's requirements for a capture program, and we began trapping in February. On our second night of trapping, we captured a young male cat and have since then captured and collared a young female and an older female. I'm very excited about this cat because this is the first cat we've captured inside the park. The other one uh, was a juvenile, that we, the, the, our first capture, but it was outside of the park in the rice field. And um, another one, which is an adult, it's uh, another site closer to here, but it's still outside of the park. In addition to being able to attach telemetry collars to a sample of the area's cats, our live capture program has provided many other opportunities and insights as we have been able to collect blood and tissue samples for genetic and disease screening as well as collect invaluable data on the condition of the animals. Our work because I'm Roy Yard has provided an opportunity to document the key conservation challenges faced by the species in the area. These include direct and indirect threats. Direct threats include hunting and snaring fishing cats themselves, while indirect threats include activities such as misnetting birds that form part of the species' prey base. Perhaps most alarming are activities associated with the pervasive shrimp farming industry that are permanently altering the soils and the overall hydrology of the landscape. Without significant work to reduce this overall pattern, the future for fishing cats here is certainly in jeopardy. To meet these major conservation challenges, the project is in the process of establishing an ongoing presence at Khao Sam Roy Yacht by training park staff and local residents in survey and monitoring techniques. To ensure that this information is acted upon, we have established collaborative relationship with local residents, village leaders, and the park chief. By the end of this year, we hope to have in place a draft habitat management plan for fishing cats that is likely to include guidance for where habitat restoration efforts could be most strategically carried out. Also plans to protect islands of habitat within the sprawling agricultural landscape so that fishing cats have refuges that won't get cut or burned each year in a regular schedule of interactive and educational outreach activities for local residents and school children that will celebrate the uniqueness of fishing cats at Khao Sam Roy Yacht and help people to understand why a top-level predator is an ally rather than a nuisance.